What's up, y'all? It's Asportkid back with another episode of the College Football World Series. In this episode, we are doing the Manhattan, Kansas, or the Kansas State Regional. Kansas State is hosting. They are the one seed of their bracket. Western Kentucky is their four seed. Central Florida is the three seed. Uh, excuse me, two seed. And Purdue is the three seed. Our first game is Kansas State in Western Kentucky. We will get right into that. I already got it all queued up. Kansas State's overall is better by nearly um, 10. Their offense is better by also nearly 10. And their defense is better by 8. Uh, it's rated 8 higher. There's not like a, a metric that is being used. Um, it's better though. Deuce Vaughn is Kansas State's best player, a 96 overall running back. Uzoma is a left end from Kansas State, who's 92 overall. And Bibe, I don't, I don't, I want to say that with like a French accent. 91 overall left guard for the Wildcats. Western Kentucky's best players are their kicker, an 84 overall, N Narvison, and a 84 overall left guard, Leslie. Finally, a 83 overall cornerback, Hale SI. I definitely butchered that name. We're at Bill Snyder Family Football Stadium in Manhattan, Kansas. It's I did adjust the audio from last video, so game. we do have commentators now here at the beginning at least. K State scores a touchdown first they score a field goal before the end of the first quarter western kentucky scores a field goal and kansas state responds with it now in the third quarter um western kentucky scores a touchdown k-state scores two touchdowns western kentucky scores one k-state scores one all over the place loss of scoring in the second half but kansas state does walk away with a 34 to 17 victory over the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Putting the Hilltoppers in the loser's bracket after their very first game. Not a great start. Game 2 is UCF and Purdue. Let me get that queued up. Purdue is the away team. They are a 3 seed. And... Was it Central Florida? Yes, Central Florida. Just started the video and I'm already forgetting. Central Florida, UCF, is an 86 overall. Three better than Purdue. Their offense is better and their defense is better. So, pretty much just across the board. This should be a good game. We have a middle of the pack Big Ten team. They did go to the championship game, but they won the West. It kind of all messy. Um, Central Florida, I believe they were American Conference runner ups. Um, I think they played Tulane. I will go over these best players. The Central Florida cornerback Brown and 86 overall. Their center in 84 overall, whose name is Lee. Barber, a defensive tackle, who's an 84 overall, rounds out their three best players. The Purdue center is a 87 overall, Hartwig. Uh, hostage, left guard, 86 overall, and do I'm not I'm not gonna say that. 82 overall running back is their third best overall player we have the uh, battle of i'm pretty sure ucf played in the conference championship game it was either them or cincinnati and i don't think it was cincinnati might have to look that up after this game this is a very important game between the two and the three seeds Usually pretty close games between the two and the three seeds. Pretty similar skill levels. We have a one-point game 
after UCF took two field goals and a Purdue touchdown. Their extra point made it a lead. Now Central Florida, after several scores, does take a two-point lead. They will hold it all the way to the end of the game. 16-14 to 14 nights. Purdue kept to two touchdowns the whole game. And that puts them in, losers, in the loser's bracket. UCF will play Kansas State. And I do want to look up... Um, AAC... Um, football... AAC football championship game. No, not the ACC. No. Oh, did I type? Yeah, I did type ACC. My bad. American Conference champion. Um, what is this year? Yes, yes. UCF did play in the conference championship. Okay. Just I I was gonna talk about that and I had to make sure. So, yes, runner up. What's our next game? Western Kentucky and Purdue in the elimination bracket. Um, Purdue is the higher seed. So they will get home field advantage. Eighty three overall Purdue takes on seventy seven overall Western Kentucky. Both defenses are quite comparable, but the Purdue offense is looking much Neutral better than the Hilltopper offense. To Both teams have come very far for this game. The whole uh, bracket, literally thousands of miles. I think it's like a nine hour drive by, from both schools. Um, they are close together, but not close to in Hatton, Kansas. Western Kentucky has a 7, 10 point lead, 14 point lead, 24 to 10, 31 to 17 in the fourth quarter. Purdue really has to fight back in order to stay in the tournament. It is a touchdown game and they cannot capitalize on their return. 31 24, Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, the four seed, have beat Purdue and sent the three seed home. Big 10 runner-ups. Now we will have Kansas State and Central Florida. I don't know why I keep saying Central Florida. It's just UCF, but Central Florida, I don't know. I'll do what I want. Kansas State. Wow, I didn't think they were better than Florida State. Um, you're looking for the Knights of Central Florida. Saw them. Where'd they go? They're right there. Both teams are 86 overall. So the Kansas State defense is one rating better. But Central Florida could potentially be a decent team in the Big 12 next year. Next year, this will be a conference game. Uh, well, I don't know if they'll play each other, but it would be a conference game. Because in a couple of days, like 20, um, UCF is officially joining the Big 12. Oh, no, I do not need my Xbox to turn on. I need my controller to work. There we go. We're on College Avenue in Manhattan, Kansas, getting ready to bring you an exciting football showdown. This would be a good out-of-conference game. I would watch it. If I wasn't busy, I'd watch this game, definitely. 
7 to nothing K-State, 7-3, four-point lead in the second quarter, trying to score before halftime. Sandro Florida is able to, they make it a three-point lead, now a 10-point lead in their favor. Going to the fourth quarter, Kansas State down by three points. Can they come back? Yes, they do. 21-17 as UCF cannot score on their final drive. Central Florida going to the elimination bracket. And Kansas State, the one seed, keeps moving on. Sail smoothing. Smooth sailing. Smooth, sail smoothing. Mm -hmm. Smooth sailing so far. Now, Central Florida will play Western Kentucky. Nope. Oh my goodness. I did not mean to click this. I will return. Here we do have our game. UCF much better than Western Kentucky. Just as Kansas State was. Is. Was. Same thing. Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. I believe Central Florida traveled something like 20 hours to get here. So definitely not a very regional, regional. Um, it works, though. I mean, these teams had to go somewhere. Wow, UCF starting strong. 21 nothing, 27 nothing before halftime. 32 nothing, 39 nothing, 42 nothing in the fourth quarter. This is a blot if I've ever seen one. 42 to 7 is the final. Western Kentucky sneaks in with a touchdown in the fourth quarter. It does not matter at all though. Central Florida is moving on. I do not need that. Central Florida is moving on to play Kansas State again in potentially our final game of the bracket and of the video um they played once before and kansas state won in a close game now they will play again if central florida wins then we go to game seven if kansas state wins then they outright win the bracket so we have a one seed and a two seed fighting it out again both overalls very similar KSU Stadium, located in the heart of the Sunflower State, is the site for this college football contest. I wonder if Kansas State has um, renovated or rebuilt their stadium since um, NCAA 14 was released, because this looks very small. Shockingly small, like group of five small. It might not matter, they do have a lead, they're holding on, it is a 11 point lead. 21 to 10 in the third quarter UCF tries to make it closer they do now they tie it we are going to have a very close game Central Florida are they going to go to overtime no they don't UCF scores a last second field goal to beat Kansas State and force game seven Central Florida put in the winner's bracket after that and Kansas State in the loser's it doesn't matter. We are going to play it one more time. One more time. Winner moves on. Loser goes home. Could go either way. Who will the winner of this game face? They will. Oh, yikes. This is going to be a tough Super Regional for the winner of the Manhattan Bracket. 
to play one of these four teams. Uh, yeah, that's a yikes right now. We'll have to see. That will be for the next video. Not sure when that will go up. Go up the day after this does. Manhattan, Kansas at KSU I'm recording this on Monday. I don't know. UCF starts out with a touchdown in the first quarter on their first drive. No scores for the rest of the first quarter. Kansas State does get a safety. UCF scores a touchdown, two touchdowns. We're in the third quarter. It is 21-16, 21-19. We are a field goal away. Now we are not. Kansas State takes a lead, and they're going to hold on to it. Kansas State 32, UCF 24 is your final it is the final for the regional bracket k-state was just flying through it until that last game and the ride or die i don't know that's not the right i mean win or go home they showed up and they won so kansas state the winner of that bracket they will play michigan washington state Notre Dame or Louisville in a best of three. They did win a best of three versus uh, UCF. They played Western Kentucky. If you haven't seen the other videos, I'm going to scroll through these real quick. Um, but definitely go check those out. There we go. Here is another look at the overall bracket. We have one more regional for this side of the bracket then we go to the right side we have a lot of really good regionals over there might be better regionals honestly although Tulane Oregon Ole Miss Oklahoma State that was probably the best regional definitely go watch that video yeah until the next one where we play the Ann Arbor regional peace